Hi fellow musicians, my name is Hemi and welcome to my tutorials. A lot of you have asked for a guide on how to set up contact in Reaper, so today I will show you the simplest way to do it. First let's add a track by double clicking the track area. Now we will click the effect button to add a contact instance. Now we're going to create 16 outputs. Go to Factory and choose Stereo 16X or another option depending on your needs. If you want mono tracks, select Mono or if you need just 4 stereo outputs, choose Stereo 4X. You can also save the current output section state as default. Next, right click on the VST in the effect chain and select Build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track. Now we have 16 channels with MIDI routed to the contact instance. We can name this contact instance track contact instance. Now let's go back to contact, right click on the VST and select build multi-channel routing for output of selected FX. Then click yes to create 16 output channels. Now we want to keep the 16 KT channels and 4 auxiliary channels. I'm going to move them below the MIDI tracks. Now we have lots of unassigned tracks, we can just delete them because they are not used and don't receive or send any signals. So now we have 16 MIDI tracks and 16 output channels and 4 auxiliary tracks. To clean things up, I'm going to press Ctrl Shift M to open the track manager. And I'm going to hide the KT aux tracks for now because I'm not going to use them. So all I have to do is to click the dots here. I usually like to place the KT tracks under a folder. I'm also going to put all the MIDI tracks under the contact instance track. Now let's load some instruments. So what's happening here is that when we play a note on the MIDI track, it sends a signal to the contact instance, which then triggers the instruments loaded here to play. So if we check the routing panel, it says it's sending to the contact instance track, the track where we loaded our contact VST. Ok, now if I want the first instrument, Bassoon, to receive signal from MIDI track 1 only, I need to set the MIDI channel to 1 on this instrument. While in contact, an instrument's MIDI channel is set to Omni by default. This means the instrument will respond to MIDI signals from all channels on any available port. So for example, for the second instrument, if I set MIDI channel to Omni, even if I play a note on MIDI channel 1, or MIDI channel 4, or any MIDI channel, the second instrument is still going to receive signals. So if we want a specific instrument to be triggered by a specific MIDI track, we need to assign them manually to their corresponding MIDI track. For the first instrument, we're going to set the MIDI track to 1 and output channel to 1. We set it to output channel 1 because contact will send the audio signal to our output channel 1. If we check the routing for Kitty Out 1, we can see that it's receiving signals from contact instance. So same as the rest of the output channels, they are all receiving signals from contact instance, which is the contact instance loaded here. And we also notice that it is routed to the master, which means we're actually hearing the audio from the master output. And I'm going to assign the second instrument to output 2 and MIDI channel 2. So now we can control and record the instrument individually. It's important to note that 
MIDI tracks aren't directly linked to KT output channels. Instead, the contact instrument acts as a bridge connecting the two separate entities. Now here's a tip for you. If you go to File, Options, Handling, and for MIDI channel assignment for loaded patches, you can change it to assign first free. This will conveniently increment the numbers. For example, I'm going to load more instrument. And as you can see, the MIDI channel is now set to three. We can now start naming these tracks and keep the instruments organized. So I'm going to name the first instrument Bassoon. and KT out track, KT bassoon. Now there are some instruments where you don't see the options for setting up the channels. For example, this instrument from Modern Scoring Strings. All you have to do is to click the info icon and then you will see the options for MIDI routing. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot and ready to set up your own contact in Reaper. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to check out my composing tutorials.